Looks like we'll be coming back to good time games. <laughs> oh, why is there always a caveat when it comes to that game? Hey guys, a few weeks ago I went to Good Time Games and you saw all that treasure I got, but there was still a bunch that you didn't get to see. So check out the highlights from the best of the rest. Oh, check this out, Ryan. Down here, the N64 card. Not for resale, Pokemon Snap. <whistles> Look at that. I know it says $5.99.99, but I think they mean $59.99. We also have a new inbox Genesis. So okay. the story behind that is the guy, he found it in his grandmother's attic. Okay. Okay, so the story is that his grandmother bought it for him in the 90s, forgot to give it to him, and sure. just stuck it in the attic. You and know, then fast forward 30 years, and grandmothers get old, yeah. and they pass away, and it's up to the grandkids to go through the house, and he finds it, still with the wrapping paper on it, still with his name on it. And he opens it up, can, and he's like, oh my God. Can you imagine just seeing like, to Johnny from Grandma. Yeah. Merry Christmas. It's like, and it's a Genesis. But like, first of all, I don't even know if I'd want to open it because there's something nostalgic to spoke keeping that. But then opening it and seeing a Model so, Two Genesis that had just been sitting in the attic. Like I said, the box is not in the best of shape, but the internals is. So I'm gonna come around where I have a table. So like I said, it had some yep. critters in the attic, but the inside. So many memories. Oh my gosh. Look at this right here. Look, look how minty this is. I've never even opened that. I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm just, like you can tell that there hasn't been a fingerprint on this. Oh my God, it's Sonic 2, the not for resale version. <laughs> so rare. <laughs> yeah, the most common not for resale car card ever. Wow. Put it away, put it away. This is not damaged at all. Uh, as far as rarities go, we've got... Uh, dark, dark hat. Uh, rule, rule of Rose, Blood Will Tell, Obscure. Did you got the manual with Rule of Rose? Yeah, it's complete. Oh! -ho! It's Japanese version. Why is there always it. a caveat when it comes to that time. game? You just need Google Glasses and it'll just interpret it for you. That's, that's it, right? But it's also half the price of the North American one. That's true. Uh, we did have every Fantastic 64 there is until uh -huh. about a week ago. Wow, the blue. <laughs> and now we've only got the blue and the smoke and the green left. Oh man, look at the blue. You're killing me, Chad, because got an extra I, controller I don't want any colors <laughs> except the blue. Except the blue? And I think the last time I was here, briefly, you guys had the orange, too. Yep, and I we did. And I kicked myself for, for not getting the orange, but... And I literally just sold it like a week ago. <sighs> the guy came in and brought orange, watermelon, regular, and gold. And smoke, I don't see that often. That's cool. You should have seen that before we restored it. Yeah. I it bet. was rough. <laughs> Basically every Final Fantasy game there is, and something that is quite rare, uh, Dance Dance Revolution for the Game Boy Color. That is not something you I see very often. I have never seen that. <laughs> wow, look at this, Quest Fantasy Challenge. I see you have two copies, or is it three copies of Action 52? <laughs> yes, we have three copies. Three uh, there's one there, copies, and there's then... one up there in the sleeve, and then there's one in the like official sleeve. Yeah, right up there, okay. There's a Vectrix system just sitting in front of me. There's Chad, one thing at a time, my friend. <laughs> one thing at a time. I can't focus. My head okay. is ping-ponging. And I see you have not one, but two copies of Snow Brothers. Yep. What do you got on that? 419 and 479? Yeah, the 479 one is like... <sighs> yeah. New in box. That is a new in box NES. Should probably be a little bit more gentle. <laughs> <laughs> new in box. Just bought it. This is when they just redid their branding too. Yep. Wow. It's another one where the price is just everywhere online. So what do we charge for it? No what, do you, idea. what do you got it at? At the moment I have it at make an offer. 100 bucks. <laughs> no thanks. Just to give you the counter so, space. I, I appreciate that. Just to, but we just so pulled down to... something else. So you gotta buy the ball. <laughs> <laughs> he gets me every time. So online the sales of this exact model 
new in box, there is one from like two years ago, and it was 1200 bucks. I never see that. I see challenge set with Mario 3 all the time. Yep. I never see the basic set. Me neither. That is so, unique. This, this is a very rare beast. Uh, the normal Commodore 64, I'm, everybody knows it. It's the bread bin, yeah. hooks up to a monitor or TV. Uh, this guy is called the SX64. Um, it was marketed as like a, like a businessman's computer. Oh, okay. So a lot of people that had these were people that like pre-laptop would be like a salesman going to a company to do an advertisement or a presentation. And they'd pull one of these out and show like the spreadsheets and stuff on the screen. It's not horrible. It's not horrible, but it is a fully functioning Commodore 64. It has I've never everything seen, a 64 has. I've never seen like what I would call a retro piece of hardware with a monitor built in like this before. Seen the NES with the TV, pick but this. You should pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> like grab it by the side to pick it up. I don't, I, I'm afraid that I won't be able. That's got some, I was afraid this is gonna smash. You're not after Atari, eh? Not really. Do you have something cool from Atari? I do have something very cool from well, Atari. Well, then I want to hear it, because cool stuff is always two good. two very cool things for Atari. What do you got? One is this. What is this sorcery? Halo Encounter? Yep. So Obviously that is a, a modern group. Atari 2600 game. Clearly unlicensed, but you know. Yeah. No one goes after Atari, it's fine. Wow. Does that say $419 or $119? It says $119. Okay. Clearly I might need glasses. And then this is the other Whoa! One. Sword Quest! The the hard one. So that is a fully complete water world. Okay. You know the story behind those games? Share the story with so us, Chad. The, there were supposed to be four of them. Air, Earth, Fire, Water. Uh, only the first three were made. Earth was first, I think, and then fire and then water. Airworld never got made. It was supposed to be this giant puzzle game. And the first people to solve the puzzle and send proof to Atari that they solved it would be put into a draw for a piece of um, medieval raiment. So there was a scepter, a crown, uh, a sword, and something else. Yeah. And then the idea was the four people who solved it would do this extra thing to go after the really expensive thing at the end that was worth like $200,000 or something. Yeah, it was and an international treasure hunt yes where if you beat the the four games first you got like the big piece of the puzzle yes. you had to unite to figure out where the last piece was going yes. to be and that was like 80s dollars so that's yeah. like a over a million today easily. yeah and so this happened right before the video game crash of 83 and Waterworld was the last one to come out yeah you and like they right barely here. sold any of them atari 1983 right down yeah. here so the video game crash happened like as this game was releasing. So hardly anybody bought it. And the value of it is like a hundred times what the other two are. And so then Airworld just never came out. So Chad, yep. what is the value of Waterworld today? So because it is complete, including the comic book, I've got it at 2,500. But what's the price for friends like Rob? Who's not into collecting Atari, but may include I mean, a title. So I know what I paid for it. And like the lowest I could possibly go is like two thousand dollars. Dollars. Canadian dollars. Canadian dollars. Because mm. the guy I, knew I what know. he had when he brought it in. I, I'm seriously considering an Atari game for the first time ever. It's the one. It kind of is, <laughs> right? Every like, system has the one. We that, talk that about keeping one. collecting like our focuses and not really kind of venturing out. Yep. Otherwise you go all over the place, but sometimes opportunity presents itself and you have the rules that allow you to venture out of that focus. So in the back, we've got a tabletop Ms. Pac-Man, like the cocktail style. No, you yeah. don't. Yeah. We, How much is that? Uh, at the moment it is in dire need of repairs. So um, when you repair it, what's it going to run for? Like 500. It's, they're not expensive at all. I'm going to put my name on that. It's 1981, I think. It is almost impossible to see because of the amount of stuff we have, but that's it right there. Oh, wow. Oh, that's that. neat. Oh, that's a different kind of cocktail. So the, can, you can see the joysticks and stuff. Yeah, like it, it is. Is it, there joysticks on the other side too? There is, yeah. Okay. It is in dire need of repair. Uh, it oh, was donated weird. to us for nothing. Weird. I've, I've never seen one with like a kitchen marble countertop. Right? What is up with that? So this was one made for home use instead of for arcade use. For, for kitchen use. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really count it, me in on that one. It has a Ms. Pac-Man board and a Defender board that you can interchange. 
Oh man, yeah, I am. Looks like we'll be coming back to good time games. <laughs> oh. So, this is eventually going to be our employee lounge. At the moment, it's basically storage. We got a nice red tent here. Yes. Which I wasn't sure if you knew what it was or not. Oh, I know red tents. So it is 95% working. Nice. Uh, this side totally works. This side needs a cap job on the monitor. Otherwise it works fine. And this is for sale for $500. Honestly, not that much more than that. Really? It, they're not that expensive. Oh my goodness. Well. There's a Wii U kiosk there. 3DS kiosk here. And a Neo Geo. And a Neo Geo cart right here. And all this stuff works. It's all plugged in. You can sit and play right now. I just got to get hired and then I can play it because it's the employee <laughs> lounge. I yeah. love that it's soundproof in here. It's almost so, like they recorded in here before. It used to be a rentable party room. Oh. That's why you got the TVs on the walls. Oh, okay. Because you would come in with couches and whatever and just sit down and rent the room and play Happy, happy Birthday, whatever. And then COVID happened and we stopped doing that. Make sure you get the floor, by the way. <laughs> Jeez. Chad, do you, did you guys make these? Where did you guys get them? Did you import them? Uh, so we, there's a local artist. Uh, her Instagram there is in the back. And she is the one that makes all of these and we're selling them on her behalf. Nerdy crochet crafts. Yep. She does a really good job. Oh man, these are cool. This is awesome. I never see Pikmin stuff. It's like, like the Nintendo franchise nobody wants to talk about. Know, right? And it's such a good franchise. I agree. Cool, well. Blue link in there, there's a red link in there. Bunch of Pokeballs. I like Mario's mustache the best. Props to people with facial hair and down with people who cut it. <laughs> so there you have it. A total bounty, a plethora of amazing games that you didn't get to see in the last video. Keep hunting deep, you'll find lots of treasure. This video proves it.